Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Nine for Legion. Let's play some more Star Wars Empires at War, Thrawn's Revenge mod as the New Republic. And we are basically pushing back on all fronts. Let's unpause the game and see what they have to offer for us. Now, what I'm thinking is we've been pushing through here. We've got a decent ground army all back in Salagis. And we've got to take these worlds behind us, which I need to do. So Akbar is probably going to be hanging out here for a while. This Going fleet in. is doing Enter okay. Uh, 10 MCATBs. Man, we have really ramped up our MCATB production. Um, I wouldn't mind actually getting more ships up this side, though, and pushing it up into Emma and actually seeing what they've got there. It's been a while since we've poked our head in that side. So this whole area is just producing a ton of ships for us now. Um, we've got three level 3 space stations Monica in close proximity to each other, and that just gives us a lot of... I mean, we can just keep building ships. We're just going to keep building ships. We're never going to stop building ships. Uh, Fondor, I'm probably going to stop building ships at, though, is the level 3 space station, but it's really far away. Uh, we do need our level building 3 there. Started. Let's get that going. Carrot, what are you doing? Are you building stuff for me? You are... Uh, you can build more ground stuff. That'll actually help you build stuff faster, so... Let's queue up one of all of those. Let's just make Carrot a really good production area. Ow, oh, we are producing so much stuff. Right, how many ships have I actually got lying around here? Let's see, can I pull back a few ships? Have we got enough ships there? We've got 10 MCATBs, carriers, escorts. I've, I want a couple of assault triggers up there, but other than that... I'm also building dreadnoughts. I'm not sure why. I just fancied building some dreadnoughts. I'm going to gather a new fleet at the Rosh Asteroid Belt. And that's going to go reinforce Mon Calamari for the time being. Um, these MCATBs can join that as well. We're going to have a whole new thrust going through. Led by Luke Skywalker himself. Because why the hell not? And I think we're definitely going to start a new ground army as well. I want another ground army either to move through this area or to move through this area. So we'll start gathering that above Carida. You are upgrading stuff. You've got a bunch of troops lying around here from when this was the front line. So let's grab up some of those guys who are just lying around. They're not doing much good at the moment. Man, yeah, we've got tons of troops around here. We can move to the front lines. They do not need to be here anymore. We'll leave a couple behind, just in case. They will help hold the planets if something goes wrong. I'm not going to take all of our defences out of there, but we should be able to definitely move a bunch forward. Even Coruscant, which is got a ton of vehicles and infantry can afford to leave well we don't need to leave everything behind Gorge basically uh, actually carrot is not a great staging ground because it's surrounded by asteroid belts that can't build stuff for us um, Coruscant can definitely start building more of those those T1Bs are pretty handy let's get a couple of those a couple of those and a couple of those QAT you can do exactly the same thing I think we've probably got enough infantry there uh, actually, only three Plex squads. Let's get some more of those guys coming out. Oh, actually, I should be building stuff here. Cheruba will be cheap. And what can I actually build for that? For You've got combat. one more slot available. What have you got? Light factory, barracks. Yeah, let's get a heavy factory there. As long as Leia Organa is there, we actually get a price reduction, so that's pretty handy. Move those Plex troopers right over to there. Just queue up. And more infantry. Hapes itself can just keep doing Enlisting. stuff like that as well. Terraform. Okay, I'm just going to leave that to do stuff. How are we doing over here? We are building up all the ships. All right, you guys can go down to there. You can go to there. More assault frigates. Oh man, so many ships. How is that fleet looking? That's a decent reinforcement fleet. Let's move you up to there. I think Luke Skywalker is going to actually take command of this. Now, Mon Calamari itself should be... Yeah, you've also got cheap Moncal ships, which is quite handy. Um, we have never built any of these MC-40As. You know what? I might actually queue up a bunch of those. Got another MC-80B about to come out. Alderaan has no defences right now. Let's get you a Golan platform. And, yeah, I'm just going to build up a bunch of infantry here as well. In fact, you can be building infantry as well. I keep forgetting these places can do but I'm too used to strategy games where you can only build one of one thing at a time. Like space stuff and ground stuff, you can't build all more simultaneously. Reporting. Reporting. Mon Reporting. Are ready. Okay, right, we've, we've definitely got enough troops now. Uh, ready let's see, I think this fleet... Let's put Luke Reporting. Skywalker in command of this fleet. Reporting. Oop, no, that's not what really. So we've got a hero with this fleet, and I'm going to probe Reporting. Emma. This is a pretty sizable fleet. I mean, 11 MCATBs, 8 assault frigates, 5 dreadnoughts, 3 Haven Battle Dragons, an MCAT Home 1, and some escorts. Reporting. Um, right away. We should better do some work with this. Let's jump in and see what we've got. Well, let's see what they've got, actually. And Nebulon B. Interesting. Okay. 
And I'm not actually sure who we're fighting. I think this might be Zinja's Empire still. Their territory... This used to be their territory. I'm not sure where the corporate sector now starts. I believe there's another faction in the game we have yet to meet. Obviously, when Zinj died, his empire started to fracture. We had the Imperial Remnant reform. They stopped... Well, they didn't reform. They stopped being allied to us. So, they basically became a new faction. And I think the corporate sector opened up as a new faction as well. But I've not seen any of their ships. Okay, they've definitely got a Nebulon B down there. Space Station back there. And I saw two Golem platforms of some sort. Your Let's start moving you down and see what Armed we can see. Ready. Speed up time while we get our sensor data. Enemy forces ahead. Okay, that's a, yeah, a bunch of TIE Fighters. I mean, nothing too dangerous. Those TIE Raptors you've got to watch out for. Golan 1s. Yeah, that's nothing really to worry about. A couple of uh, Corellian Corvettes, one Nebulon B, and one Carrier. Yeah, these defences are nothing. How are you doing? You are actually going to have a pretty bad day. Uh, I wouldn't mind killing a bunch of these fighters, though, so... Let's get you some reinforcements. Ready for action. Standing by. I mean, they will just launch more, but Guns we can wipe out a few of their decent squadrons at the start. That will help us. Ready to fire. Chase those down quickly. I mean, TIE Fighters are good in quantity, but when they're spread out like this. And the AI does like spreading them out. They're never going to last much, this much firepower. Okay. Ooh, they're actually sorting their ships out. I'm, what? Why? Why are you leaving the defensive umbrella of your platforms? Are you hoping to try and take out these guys? Underway. It looks like it. That Nebulon B is opening up. Okay. Well, let's get some heavy firepower in here. These dreadnoughts are old ships, but they have a lot of guns. So they will really start wrecking some of these ships here. And the, obviously, the home, MC-80 Home 1 type will also do some fairly good work. How are you still alive? Will someone please... There we go. Do you have any special abilities you do have? Boost weapon power. Ooh, that's a handy ability. I forget Dreadnoughts have that. Very rarely use them, because I always think of them just being old ships. But they're actually pretty handy. Do you get any fighters? Do you launch fighters? Hmm. Do you have a... I can't... It doesn't say in the description. Do you have a launch bay? You do have a fighter bay. Okay. So you can actually launch fighters as well. Hmm. Because obviously the assault frigates, which we've used in previous episodes, are... Uh, in, they are very similar to... Uh, well, I'm so sorry, let me get... Oh, words. Assault frigates are re-improved versions of classic dreadnoughts. They're a heavily modified version. Slightly faster and more manoeuvrable and more weaponry. So technically they're better. But I think in terms of just straight up firepower, a dreadnought is actually still at the edge. Assault frigates, I think, have more fighters now. And more shields, but less armour. So dreadnoughts can be pretty tanky sometimes. Uh, you know what I'm tempted to do? Where's those corvettes gone? Oh, hello. Moving. Yeah, I'm just going to see how quickly a Dreadnought can just kill you. Oh, you're actually going to run for it. Oh, look at that. Actually, properly running for it. Okay, well, I guess I'm engaging this down here. Okay, you've launched one squadron of X-Wings. Is that all you get? Oh, wow, they actually did manage to take that out. You know what? We're going to take this just with Dreadnoughts. And maybe a little fighter cover for you. I'm assuming Dreadnoughts can take on a Golem 1 platform. X-Wings, you need to get in there, take out those TIE Raptors. You need to focus on those TIE Raptors as well. How are we looking? Uh, starting to lose shields on one of those Dreadnoughts. But we are getting some work done there. Okay, let's get a bombing run going in there. I think the Soul Frigates are better because you get way more fighter squadrons in the end. And technically it says more firepower, but I'm not convinced. Okay, I should probably actually do something with this battle group as well. Oh, I've lost the ability to box select. Well, that's kind of annoying. Okay, just start moving down that way, and everything will be fine. Oh, there we go, now I can box select again. You guys can take out that one. And, uh, what does Luke actually come in with? If Luke doesn't come in with an X-Wing, I'm going to be surprised. Yeah, X-Wing. Cool. Right away. Uh, ooh, that golden platform was actually focusing on my Corvette. Almost lost a ship there. 
Interesting. Okay, you just wrecked that Corvette. Didn't even notice that was back there. Okay, you guys attack move to this position. Murder everything for me. Uh, you guys just, yeah, hunt and destroy. Take out all the fighters. We should be able to handle this pretty easily. Oh, no, Corvette. Ah, damn it. Can't let those Corvettes get too close. In fact, where are the other Corvettes? Yeah, you guys can pull back a bit. The Golem platform seems to be focusing down the weaker elements of my fleet, which is uh, actually pretty smart. That was a pretty good fight. Uh, didn't have to lose a Corvette there. That was a bit silly of me, not paying attention to what I was doing. But we definitely dodged. We were never going to lose that fight, not against that defending fleet. But Ready that does kind of give us a foothold here. And um, there is a level 3 space station Ready right next door. I'm actually going to do something about that. I'm gonna... What can I leave behind? I guess... I don't want to leave Ready behind any of these Corvettes, because I only have a complete. limited number of them. I guess combat. I'll leave behind one of you just to hold the orbit for the minute, and I'm going to try and take out that level 3 space station. They do have a defending fleet there as well. So this could be a proper fight. Now, if we can take out a level 3 space station, that would be pretty handy. You know, just stop them being able to build capital ships, because obviously they're still building those Imperial Star Destroyers, and they are better than my MC-80Bs. Now, they have a number of them down south there. Are they going to turn around and try and join up with this facility or not? I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to move you forward, I'm going to leave you there, because I don't want you to get in range of their guns. We've located the enemy. Okay, what are we actually facing? They've got a bunch of strike cruisers, they've got some Corellian Corvettes, and is that just three ISD-2s? That's an ISD-1, interesting. ISD-1. Ooh, okay, is, is that really just an ISD-1? It just says Imperial Star Destroy. Yeah, okay, those are just ISD-1s, interesting. Uh, what have we got here? Golan Freeze? Okay, that's pretty nasty. And obviously they do have a capital shipyard facility. So that is going to be pumping out Corellian Corvettes and Dreadnoughts. So we've got to be a bit careful here. We've got to be a bit... going to be smart. Um, I think we want to try and take... We obviously want to try and fight this away from the Golan platforms if we can. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, let's see. So three Star Destroyers. Now, they're only ISD-1s, which is interesting because the Corell the Mon Cal ships should actually be able to do pretty good work against these guys. So I think what I'm going to do... We can drop in a line of our MC-80s over here. And I, I do want an edge on numbers, so we're going to drop in quite a few. Uh, I guess, okay, yeah, you want to come and join the party? That's fine, we are going to need a bunch of you as well. Get some fighter support at the back. And then, I think, yeah, assault frigates and dreadnoughts in the back line for fire support. I don't want them up front, because they don't have the shields or armor to go with. Even against the ISD-1s, I wouldn't want to risk it. But I think that's actually going to give us a decent amount of firepower. And with that, I you can actually come down and join us as right well. Away. I'll actually boost your engine power so you get here quick. Okay, now you're going to take some hits because you're coming in right in range of their guns. But we should be able to handle this. Okay, let's uh, give a few orders, shall we? I want this group to target your shields. I want this group to target your shields. And you two are going to have to try and tank... That guy. And these Corvettes, just focus on those Tie Raptors. We're going to try and pick those off as quick as we can. Because they are the, by far the most dangerous fighters they've got. Uh, we're going to not worry about the Strike Cruisers right now. I'm going to wait for those. Okay, we do have a lot of firepower going out. How are we doing against their fighters? Yeah, we've definitely got the edge on their fighters. Just make sure we take out those Tie Raptors. Which we have done. Okay. X Wings, I need. Basically, what you're doing right now, that's perfect. Okay, you've lost shields and engines. Perfect. Okay, let's focus on their engines as well. And I'm going to smooth all fighter support B Wings and X Wings, and that single squadron of Y Wings down here. Where are my A Wings? Take out those TIE Raptors for me. Okay, that's one ISD. You took a beating. A-Wings are still doing good work. Okay, this battle group up here. Switch targets to this guy. How are we doing? You guys are still moving in. Perfect. That ISD is not long for this world. This ISD 
might survive a bit longer, but we've got pretty much all of our fighters dedicated to it, so I'm expecting it to die pretty quick. In fact, yeah, move the X-Wings and the Y-Wings onto that. B-Wings can actually just hunt and destroy. There's a few fighter squadrons around there. I would like to not be around there. Same for all you guys. Beautiful. Okay, you are taking damage. Why are we taking so much fire? What is back here? Oh, they've got TIE Raptors. Okay. Where are my Corvettes? Corvettes, you're going to be taking out these guys. Just attack and move through that area. I want all of that dead, please. Okay, and we're getting a bit close to their main fleet, so we're going to pull back now. We want to allow our shields to regen before we push in too deep. I don't think we actually lost anything yet. Nope, we're still maxed out. Man, they've got a lot of these fighters, though. Where are my Corv Corellian Corvettes? They should be clearing this up for me. Where are you guys? You're up there. Okay, I guess you just got pulled a bit out of position. Uh, what are you taking fire from? A Corellian Corvette and one Golem 3 platform. That's fine. Uh, who's still fighting? No, pull back. Yeah, don't, why did you... That was a bad idea. I don't even know who's in there, but you're dead now. Okay, damaged ships will fall out of the line. We don't actually want to lose you guys, and I don't think we have to. So you guys can pull back. Up there. Anyone else take any significant damage? We've got some damaged fighter squadrons, but apart from that, we're actually looking pretty good. That worked out really well. Okay, let's try and muster our forces. We lost a lot of X-Wings in that. B-Wings, however, stood up pretty well. We've still got that single squadron of Y-Wings. Don't have the fighter advantage I would usually like for this, and they are launching more fighters as we speak. So, four strike cruisers, they've got a bunch of corvettes. Yeah, we can't do this with fighter strikes, we haven't got enough to do it. I think, unfortunately, it's going to just be a case of bullying our way through. Let's see if I can get my MCATBs lined up. Dreadnoughts themselves came through that okay, it was just the assault frigates that took a bit of damage, so we've only got. There's only one of them I'm going to pull in. Meanwhile, the home one will try and come in from the south, I think. So if I can get a line of MC-80Bs along here with the support fleet behind, that should be okay. I want to try and engage this one without engaging that one. So I want to come in from, I want to come in from down here, this angle. Maybe the fighters can sw can swing around and engage that. We should be okay with our anti-fighter cover through from our own corvettes, and it would keep our fighters away from these guys. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So. Let's try and grab as many of you as the game will let me. Yeah, it will give me everything but the wire wings for some reason. Oh well. Okay, you guys come down here and get ready to go. Yeah, you're way too far to the north. I need to... I've got to try and do this carefully. I don't want to lose ships fighting multiple golem platforms, so... Form up down this way if you can. I'm going to swing you in right along the bottom there. But what about you? Are you going to path? Yeah, yeah, it's pathing a bit close, but might be okay. Probably not, but I think as soon as you start getting engaged, we'll be okay. Can I actually see... Yes, all oh, you actually... Do you actually arrange some of their ships? Interesting. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. We can make this work. Just need the support fleet down this way a bit. Yep, that'll do fine. Ready for action. You've got fighter strikes coming in, so let's move these corvettes up. TIE Inceptors and TIE Fighters are no problem at all. TIE Raptors, as always, what we want to watch out for. Okay, you're definitely being engaged. Let's go. Let's pause quickly and give a bunch of orders. Um, I wouldn't mind... Well, they're going to get more of those. I'm not really too concerned about taking those out. They're not a threat to my capital ships, and my fighters are going to be going around them. So what I want to do is take out those strike cruisers quickly. With you guys, and then bring everything else up to engage that golden platform. Always want to target the shield generator first if you can. Dreadnought's going to be a bit slow getting into the fight. We might take casualties here. This is a deep... You know, golden trees are not... Uh, they're a tough target to crack, and they've got multiple dreadnoughts and strike cruisers supporting it, and they're going to be getting reinforcements from this. We'll have to see what we can do. If I can get group one along the bottom here, though, 
I just want them to go straight to there. Yeah. Okay, how are we doing? You are taking a lot of fire. What are you even targeting? Okay, the strike cruisers bailed, so just start engaging that. Everything just engage that. Move you guys up a little bit closer, get some of these fighters off us, that'd be nice. Damn. They're yeah, managing to hit some of the fighters. Uh, the A wings got down there, but that's not going to help us very much. Uh, keep moving, because that will probably help. In fact, take out some of those TIE Fighters before they start hitting our bombers. Ready for okay, Group 1, you've just got to go in for it. You're taking too much fire as it is. Uh, A-Wings, just... yeah. A-Wings can hunt and destroy, I think. Just try and take out those fighters while we're working on this. You are getting wrecked, because I wasn't paying attention. But you's, you've lost your shields, so that's not bad. Let's get some fire on this guy. move you guys up a bit. We did just lose a Moncal. But that's fine. I can bring in more. And we're still only engaging one of these platforms. Okay, stop, 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 stop. You're going a bit deep there. You're going a little bit deep. Okay, that's actually working pretty well. Uh, you should take out those bombers for me. How are we doing back here? We got through the shields, but we didn't do much else. Okay, MC-80 home one type. Now is your time to shine. And Dreadnoughts, you should actually be f boosting your firepower. There we go. That's what I want to see. Everything exploding. Oh, I lost a frigate as well. Okay, but now they've lost their fire support. They've lost their defensive station. Here we go. This is going to be a wreck. I need my Dreadnoughts to focus down their Dreadnought quick. Okay, one of my Dreadnoughts is taking a lot of fire. Okay, take out that strike cruiser before he does too much damage. You guys are going the wrong way. I'd rather you didn't engage that golem platform. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go and move in and try and take that out. What's coming around over here? Focus your firepower on that for me, please. Dreadnoughts. Yep, put that long range firepower onto that. I've got another dreadnought coming in, actually. Change targeting priorities. Thank you very much. I just want this down so they stop getting dreadnoughts in. We lost all of that fighter group by the looks of it. We are launching more fighters though, that is useful. Okay, switch targets. Let's try and engage that. You are taking a lot of fire. Let's boost those shields. You guys move up and just keep the fighters off them. You guys... There we go, that dreadnought bailed. That's down. Perfect. Start moving up that way. Engage whatever you can on the way. But I need to get extra firepower up here because I was going to lose another MC-80. Okay, Dreadnoughts. Target the shield generator and maximum fire. There we go. Okay, that's a lot of shots going out. Okay, you, I'm going to try and get you out of there. If you can bail, that would be great. Wirings, what are you doing? Get in the fight. Get in the game, friend. You are probably not going to make it out of there, are you? Okay, it looks like most of that station is down. Wow, they've actually still got a lot of support ships in here. Let's take out some of these guys, shall we? There we go. Did I lose another ship? I feel like I lost another ship somewhere. Yeah, you guys could have helped out, but I think we lost another assault frigate. And just a few Karaks. What have they actually got left that they paid for? There must be a paid for ship somewhere. Cool, okay. 
we're done. What are our actual losses? I don't think we lost too much there. Considering we took out three Imperial Star Destroyers, four Strike Cruisers, two Krillin Corvettes, and two Golden Trees, that's actually pretty good losses. I'm okay with that. Um, and that is pretty handy, because that means they now can't build capital ships there, which I combat. like. And Liana also has a level 3 space station. Hmm. Okay, let's Mark pause the game there quickly. I think we want to move on that next as well. How's this fleet looking? I mean, the problem is if the more I move away from Mon Calamari, the you know this area is now undefended. If they come in behind us from, say, Essien, we could be in trouble. But, I mean, how much, how many defenses could they have there? And we could take out another level 3 space station. I would like to take out another level 3 space station, so I think we're going to try and do that next time. But I'm going to take a break here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this. And hopefully, I'm going to see you all later on for the next one of these. Bye.